Gather the people, enter the feast. All are invited, the greatest and least. The banquet is ready, now to be shared. Join in the heavenly feast that God has prepared. Around this table God's bounty falls on all who hunger and thirst. We drink the fullness of Christ the Lord, so we become what we eat. Gather the people, enter the feast, all are invited, the greatest and least. The banquet is ready, now to be shared, join in the heavenly feast that God has prepared. Today we are offering the Mass for the people of the parish. And also I want to add a special prayer for one of my friends, priest, who died two days ago. And he was very young. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, to prepare for these sacred mysteries, let us knowledge our sins. Lord, had mercy. Christ, had mercy. Lord, had mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours, and say your majesty in sincerity of heart, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives in with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call that you have received with all humility and gentleness and with patience, bearing with one another through love striving to preserve the unity of the spirit through the bonds of peace. One body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all, and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. Lord, this is the people that long to see your face. Lord, this is the people that long to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, Lord this, this is, is the, the people, people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He 
whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desireth not what is vain. Lord, this is a people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God, his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it is going to rain. And so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing, from the south, you say that it's going to be hot, and so it is. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why you do not know how to interpret the present time? Why do you not judge yourself what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the constable, and the constable threw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. I was, today I was typing my homily as I'm doing for these days and weeks because I want to give a short homily because I know you like it. But, but today I was looking at that how interpret the times in this time in 2020 when uh, we started at 2020, I remember I was very happy because he said, that's a beautiful number, right? There are too many things we happen, are beautiful things. And we as a human beings, we were thinking about the future. Wow, change, technology. And I don't know, many things. But everything changed with the pandemic. I will never know that will happen in my life as a young priest. Seeing people, by, same by two people because they're now in heaven because of the pandemic. All the world has stopped, not just here in the whole, the whole globe, the world stopped. And I was looking in the sky one day when I was asking to Jesus, are you wanna say something to us? And he was very quiet. 
and instead of asking him questions as a priest, I was saying thank you, and I changed my mind. I said to Jesus, thank you, because now I can see what love means. To love my parents more than yesterday, to love my brothers more, my friends, to be thankful because I am present this hard time for people asking too many questions. Because today I can pray more for those who doesn't have anything to eat. Because today as a priest I'm using more my, my, my faith and my passion and my quiet time to pray for those people who doesn't have anything to eat. For all those people who lost now their parents, friends, family members because of COVID. Thank you because now I can uh, pray to you with all my heart and my mind to say, I want this to change. Since that, I couldn't stop praying because that's what faith means, to believe and have hope that someday we will finish this. I want to be free without mask, going to the movies, going to the street, going to the gym, going to the store, going, yes, going to Disneyland, going to many places, travel, but I couldn't. And two days ago, one of my, uh, a good priest friend, I, Father uh, <clears throat> Hugo Roque, his name was Hugo. I didn't know he had a cancer, he died very fast. And I was interpreting my, my time, and I said, God, you know, thank you, because I'm still alive, and I'm still preaching the gospel to people. Brothers and sisters, Sometimes we want to interpret at the time because things happen, but we never say to the Lord, thank you because we are here celebrating Mass and we're alive. Because we're allowed to be outside in this beautiful altar here. This is beautiful. It's the most beautiful altar in the whole San Diego right now that people are celebrating Mass outside. No one in the whole diocese have this. We are the only one and we are blessed. And those things we don't need to interpret. We need to say, thank you, God. Because even we are not using the church, we are here celebrating in the sky, outside. Yes, with mass, but it's a beautiful day today. Saying thank you because you love us. And we want to thank you for all the people who are not here anymore. But we're still praying for them because we're still alive. Brothers and sisters, let us offer to the Lord today everything. Our minds, our hearts and our families, and be confident that God loves us, and one day this will be a uh, change, and we'll be continue to be our lives as a normal days. And I'm still hoping, and I'm still praying, because I believe that Jesus is the only person who can change everything with the help of his mother, our mother Mary. Amen. Now let us pray and let us offer with confidence our intentions to the Lord. <clears throat> For the Pilgrim Church on earth, that through the power and grace of the Holy Spirit, we may grow in strength and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our national and local leaders, may God grant them compassion and insight in showing special care for the most vulnerable in our society, especially the unborn and the dying. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. For all those who feel defeated in whatever their daily battles are, and for all in need of any kind of healing, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayers. For those of us gathered here, may the Lord continue to help us grow in faith, hope, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have gone before us in faith, may they rejoice forever, beholding God face to face. Let us pray to the Lord. And let us pray for today's special intention. It's for us, the people of the parish. Let us pray to the Lord. And let us pray for that special prayer deep in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. May the petition of your church be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, so that we may receive from your mercy what we cannot ask out of confidence in our own merits to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there's despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, only light. And where there's sadness, ever joy. O oh, Master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand. To be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. In giving of ourselves that we receive, and in dying that we're born to eternal life. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gift, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mystery we serve, to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift it at your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For, for by his birth, he brought renewal to the humanity fallen state, and by his suffering, cancel our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way of eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God our host, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes to the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of holiness. May holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betraying and willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, 
and gave it to his disciples and saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which we give in out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and was more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples and saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim you the Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, remember, Lord, your church, and spread to the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, John, Ramon, our bishops, and other clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope and the resurrection, and who have died in mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her espoused, with the blessed apostles and other saints, who have preached to the ages, we may make to be called heirs and alive, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be the name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. And graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Let us unite our heart with our friends, families, and people who watch in the mass from home. A spirit of communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I decide to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already then and united myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separate from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that the benefiting from our participation in, in heavenly things, we may be healed and helped by what you give in this present age, and prepare for the gift that are eternal to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, our Mass is ended. Have a beautiful weekend. Let us build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. A place where saints and children tell how hearts learn to forgive. Built of hopes and dreams and visions, Rock of faith and vault of grace, here the love of Christ shall end divisions. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. Let us build a house where prophets speak and words are strong and true. Where all God's children dare to seek to dream God's reign anew. Here the cross shall stand as witness and a symbol of God's grace. Here as one we claim the faith of Jesus. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place.